We have uh, Joe and Ed. Uh, Ed's been here for a long time. Joe started out racing, I believe, correct? Yes. And then uh, worked your way into working for Tony. Um, so just introduce yourselves and tell us what you guys do at the track. My name is Ed Phillips. I'm the track and field track steward. Also um, take care of a lot of other different jobs around the track. Electrical commissary helped him get the uh, food service stuff ready and make sure that it's right and uh, just about anything that needs to be done. Uh, we get it done and uh, I've been here for the last 26 years and uh, love every minute of it. So. My name is Joe Stuckey. I'm the tech inspector for the track. Uh, I also help with the infield or push cars or wherever I'm needed at doesn't really matter. Been here about four years doing this. Uh, raced prior to that for about 12 years. Um, my son works with me also. He helps do some of the tech. He takes care of weighing the cars. Cool. So, um, Ed, you've been here for a long time. So how's your role changed uh, since you started? And what, have you had, what did you do when you first got here compared to what you're doing now? Wow. Jeez. <laughs> it has been a long time ago. Um, Started pushing and just about everything because when we when Tony first took over the track there was only a few of us uh, that were here and uh, we've done just about everything uh, track prep watered the track three days a week uh, just for Saturday racing uh, bleachers took care of all the bleacher boards anything that could go wrong that did go wrong electrical from anything uh, just you know receptacle wouldn't work lights ballast anything that was on the poles high up Tony don't like to get on ladders so he's a he don't like heights that well oh mud yeah well anyway um, over the years it's went from push cars uh, being the track infield steward uh, sometimes you got to pass along information to the drivers and when drivers get black flagged you have to escort them off the track if they don't want to go you take them off the track so uh, being an enforcer of the rules is part of my job and uh, I can't say that I enjoy it but I can't say that I don't enjoy it uh, but uh, to make things right to make things fair for everybody uh, you watch the races and make sure that somebody gets hit deliberately you call it out let them know that they were hit deliberately and the person that did it make sure that they're the ones that go to the tail and make sure that uh, everything is done on an even basis if you do it for one you do it for all if somebody gets uh, knocked out and they say well you're playing favoritism because you're your friend that's not right i like all these guys but i don't love any of them <laughs> how are you joe Gordon, you, you started racing at the track so how's your role kind of transition and changed and racing here like i said i raced here about 10 to 12 years uh raced mostly at the old track and down here a couple of years uh, when i started here i started teching with tony uh, and that's just changed a little bit. I still take care of all the teching. Um, I help push cars or I'll help run the track in or work out in the pits, go talk to people, pass information on. Uh, same as Ed was saying, you know, if somebody gets black flagged, you got to take them off the track. You know, we, we do what we got to do. We didn't cause the situation, but we're going to rectify it. Awesome. And you so. just touched on something with teching. So you're the tech guy. Um, you know, I, I haven't been to a lot of tracks personally, but I think we do tech here. Uh, better than most or different than most uh, what's what's unique to our tech and why do we tech the cars that we tech and we tech every week um, and we check every class uh, you know modifieds we have a certain list that we can do uh, may not tech every single piece on every car the same every week I don't want to do the same thing every week you know we have a list of stuff that we can do we may do three or four things off of the list tech them that week do three or four different things the next week uh, but we consistently tech every week in all the classes so I think that that's good for the racers you know at least they know that uh, people's keeping an eye on things and uh, 
nobody's cheating that way. And what did what uh, what does Tech do? Well, you know, it, uh, the driver comes back, wins a race, and he's all mad because he's got to tear the top of the engine down. What does that do for the racetrack, and why is that important for the, all the racers? Keeps it a level playing field. Uh, you, you keep people going out and just spending unbelievable amounts of money trying to make their car as fast as they can. Uh, you can keep it all to where it's cost effective and everybody's on the level playing field that way. Awesome. Um, so you guys, you guys both are down in the infield around uh, different crew members and back in the pits. Let's talk about the crew. What, what, uh, what's the crew to you guys and I mean, what does everybody do and, and uh, under Tony's leadership, you know, what, what's that all mean to you guys? Well, once racetrack, once race starts, you might, it, it is boat your enterprise. But after 2.30, 3 o'clock, when everything starts running, we take care of it. That means that we take, we make the decisions. If it comes from a tower and somebody sees something in the tower that's not right, then we know what the schedule is going to be. We know what it has to stay with. We know the time frame that we need to be within. And we make sure that everybody follows that and keeps everything moving instead of stuff being backed off and we're here late or they didn't get to run or somebody else get to serve. And we do have a curfew and we need to be done by 11.45 and lights need to be out. And at 11.45, we're gonna have you off the track before then. 11:45, the track lights go off. Um, moving on to uh, you know, last year was a challenging, challenging year. Virus and all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, we came back and we came back with some momentum. We had some big car counts. Um, what kind of challenges did that give you guys, and what did it mean to you to come back? Um, you know, from from that. For me, it meant coming back. You know, you had something normal you could come back to, something you look forward to doing every week. Uh, like I said, my son helps down here as well. Um, he's freshman in high school, so for him it was a little different because he, you know, he was really locked down at home and he didn't get to get out and do much. So getting to come back down here and start to be back out around everybody, uh, people that he likes to see, you know, everybody gives him a hard time. You know, he's a really quiet kid, so everybody's always picking at him anytime they can, which is a good thing for him. So uh, it was great for him to get down here and really have some normal. Normal, see about it. Yeah. He is pretty good. As boy. normal as you can call it. But the um, big thing for me is uh, working with Melissa in the in the uh, concession stand, making sure everything's clean uh, with COBA and the way the health department put stuff on us, that we had to do things differently. So we had to relearn some of the things that we were doing and do it a little bit better. Uh, they wanted us to like condiments and things like that. You know, you had to put them in little cups and then hand them out to them and do those sort of things. But uh, seeing everybody back and everybody healthy, um, I don't believe we had any incidents of people, you know, family sitting together, which was fine, trying to do the six foot spacing and things like that. With It's easy enough to do while they're in the race cars because they don't want to be that close together. But uh, uh, you know, with uh, doing what we had to do, I think we did a good job with it. Uh, the car count was really great. I'm glad to see that. And, you know, that means to us that we were doing something right when we got people back every week. So that just puts a big feather in your hat and lets you know that you're doing okay. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for your. Uh uh, your time and giving us some stories and insight into the track. We appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.